Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's just consider a very important thing, a very important topic, which a lot of people ask, that is how to begin programming, how to start with coding as a beginner, as someone who has never tried programming, who's absolutely new to this field. What do you do if you are a beginner, if you are trying to get into programming, into coding, you want to start writing software and so on, probably get a developer job. How do you approach all of this? So let's break it down one by one in this video. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. Okay, so the first thing you have to understand is programming is a very broad thing. It's a very broad topic, especially if you're trying to aim for a job. When you get a job as a developer, you would be working in a very specific industry. You would not be coding everything. That means you would not be coding servers, you would not be coding IoT devices, you would not be coding machine learning algorithms, you would not be coding everything, mobile apps. You will be coding very specific things. It could be a web application, it could be a mobile application, it could be a server side application, it could be an IoT device, it could be a machine learning model, but not everything. So that means it's best to start and continue learning a single thing. Now, some of the things which comes to my mind right now are web development is a field. Mobile application development is another field. You can be a data scientist or someone interested in machine learning. Third, you can be a web three developer, which is a new thing these days. Not exactly a strictly a programming job, but you can also be a system administrator, which is monitoring your servers, cloud infrastructure, compute and everything. So these are a few topics, these are a few broader areas. These areas are still very broad in terms of getting a job, but these narrow down a little bit. Now, as a beginner, what you have to do is probably write down all these areas, web development, mobile application development, data science, ML, AI, web three, the cloud part, which I mentioned, cloud engineering and so on and try to understand more about these fields from a meta perspective. That means not diving right into the code itself, but trying to talk to people maybe who are working in this industry. Maybe you have a friend or a relative who's working as a web developer in some company. Maybe you know a software engineer at Google who's working on some machine learning algorithms or something. Maybe you know someone in Web3. So try to talk to these people, try to see what their daily work routine looks like, what their day-to-day -day activities look like, and see if that would be something you would be okay with, you would enjoy. You wouldn't know a lot just by talking to the person, but you will get a fair sense of idea that the work is not repetitive, the work is creative, the work requires you to think, the work is interesting and so on. So just get a sense of all these fields. Just get to know about them on a surface level. Once you're done with that, this is like, you know, just gathering initial data for all the fields. The next step is actually pick one and try it out. In my case, I can tell you go with web development. Somebody else would tell you something else, but at the end, it's your job it's your duty to pick one so pick a field out of web development mobile application development all of them and try to explore them even further for example let's say you picked web development in web development you have multiple things you can do you can start with front-end web development you can start with back-end or you can start with full stack which is basically saying starting with front-end itself because you will cover front-end and back-end or let's take a second example for mobile application development here also you have a bunch of options you can start with let's say native app development on android which is through java or kotlin you can start with native app development on iOS, which is through Swift and Objective-C, or you can start with app development with hybrid technologies like Ionic or with something like React Native. So you will come to know about these things only once you have chosen a field of your choice and you are exploring that field, right? Mobile application is what I mentioned. Web development is also which we discussed. You should explore all of the options which you, you know, you are considering potentially exploring more and then try to figure out where do you want to go ahead. In my case, when I started, I did not do this much extensive research, obviously. I just tried to figure out between web and mobile and I chose web at that time. And even in web, I started with front-end web development with no expectation of going full stack just yet. Full stack eventually can happen even if you just start with front-end web development. Now, when you are done with these two things that, hey, I'm gonna go with web development and I'm gonna go with front-end web development, things get very easy because now 
you have a clear path of things to do. If you are using, for example, something like CodeDamp's learning path, you will know exactly what all topics you have to complete. Starting with front-end web development, for example, requires you to start with HTML and CSS. Then you move on to JavaScript, React, Tailwind, security practices, and so on. So the point is that once you have figured out what path you want, which is like, you know, full stack front end back end, it becomes easy for you to approach a skill. The only difficult thing for you initially is to figure out which area you want to explore. And like I mentioned, you can explore any area, you can explore all areas on a metal level, but don't try to start learning multiple things at first. You should not be learning machine learning alongside front-end web development, alongside mobile development with Java, and you're learning three different languages, four different runtimes. This is not how you would be able to become a good developer. You need to focus your energy and your efforts onto a single tech, onto a single path for at least a few months before you decide to even move on, right? It's possible that you choose front-end web development and you figure out that this is not for you. You don't like working with web pages, CSS is irritating, and you're just not able to like it. It's different from the downs and ups. This not liking is something which you will only figure out once you have worked for four, five, six months of time, right? On a daily basis, you will be stuck and you will need help. That's completely fine, but it's possible that Someday you just realize that, hey, I just don't like working with the web. I might like working with servers or, you know, with machine learning or, you know, building mobile apps or so on. And that's completely fine. But still, I do believe you should spend at least four to six months before making any strong decision. That means you should be comfortable and, you know, you should be all in whatever you are trying to learn. Whether that's web dev, whether that's mobile, whether that's data science, doesn't matter. Just be a hundred percent, give your hundred percent in the things you are learning. Now, once you have figured out what to learn, the important thing is where to learn it from. Now, I might be biased because I'm also running CodeDAM, but I do believe in the initial days at least, you should have a structured, proper approach and opinionated approach because a lot of things are just there. I mean, on the web, the problem right now with popular industry level skills is that there is just too much content. Web, for example, you will find tutorials all the way back from 2010 to 2022 and beyond. You don't want to learn JavaScript that is 10 years old. It's not used anymore, it's irrelevant. You want to learn the updated technologies, updated stack, and you want to learn as minimal as possible to become a great developer. Because if you learn the wrong things, you would have to unlearn them eventually. If you start learning jQuery and you are hard on, you know, jQuery libraries and angular.js and so on, you would eventually in the month of in in couple of months or three months realize that nobody really uses jquery that much in production level apps anymore maybe a sprinkle of jquery is fine or you know in small apps it's fine and nobody really uses angular.js in fact google has deprecated angular.js so you don't want to make bad choices that means you need a mentor you need a path you need something which is what we do at code dam for at least two paths right now the full stack and the web3 full stack includes front end and back end as well so that's that but even if you're trying to go with data science or even if you're trying to go with ML and AI, I would recommend finding some website, some portal, which allows you to start with a structured approach, a structured guide. YouTube is not one of those platforms, unfortunately. You can get an idea, you can get the meta level things on YouTube, but the important thing here is that YouTube does not tell you what to do next, right? If you have learned Python, that's not learning data science. Data science is completely different. It requires different practices, different packages, different things and so on. So you, you want to rely on a path, you want to rely on a mentor, you want to rely on someone who can guide you from zero to 100. And that means you should try to find out some sort of platform around that. It could be free, it could be paid, it could be, initially it could be YouTube, but I would not recommend like sticking to just unorganized videos because as a beginner, you might waste a lot of time and time is the most valuable thing you have currently, which you can use and reuse properly to learn much faster, right? To get ahead of other people, to get ahead of yourself faster. So yep, this was my, these were my few tips. These were my few cents for you to get started as a beginner programmer, as a beginner developer. Choose a field, choose an area, pick a platform and start learning. Don't look back for the next four, six, eight months and you will be good to go. That is all for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna see you in the next one really soon.
If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.